Welcome to the review for Unit 10, Branding No Brand. So in the previous section, we talked about Muji and No Brand, which are um, kind of brandless brands. Um, and the point of these brands, they were created um, to eliminate the expensive packaging and branding and marketing mm -hmm. um, and cut costs and still have you know, pretty high quality products. Um, so Emart's No Brand was created in 2015 with this goal in mind, and they even have a like a secret research lab where they, um, you know, try to find ways to make better products with mm -hmm. lower cost. Um, but recently, Emart um, and specifically the vice chairman has talked about um, his kind of vision for the future and their old kind of. Uh, purpose or mission statement um, was about product and pricing. Mm -hmm. So having good products at low prices. Um, and these products were flying off the shelves because of their quality um, and low price, mm -hmm. of course. Fly off the shelves. Fly off the shelves. But um, Recently, he has said that his new vision for the future is going to be value content and a digital presence, um, which kind of and is part of uh, the reason that they created this Peter Rabbit, the yellow rabbit um, character for the company. Um, and it really goes contrary to the no brand idea. So it's becoming more of a brand and less of a no brand brand. Um, and people think that maybe they're taking their eye off the ball of this product and pricing concept mm -hmm. that really established no brand as a attractive um, brand, yes. <laughs> if you call it. Contrary. Contrary. Take one's eye off the ball. Take one's eye off the ball. So what do you think of the Muji and the No Brand Burger slogan? So again, mm -hmm. um, No Brand Burger slogan is why pay more, it's good enough. And Muji slogan is lower price for a reason. Um, and the author of this article says that those are really terrible slogans. Uh, what do you think about those? At first thought they may sound terrible or okay. not that appealing to customers. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when you think of the No Brand Burger place, and I've been there, um, the whole idea of, you know, why pay more, it's, it's good enough, just has that feeling to, well, my, maybe my American perception is mm -hmm. mediocre. And nobody wants a mediocre burger. Not really. But when you actually have it, it's, you good know, enough. good enough. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's satisfactory. It's acceptable. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily mediocre. Um, but I've had equal at McDonald's, you know, or mm -hmm. Burger King, some other places. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but the, the Muji one is quite interesting because I feel like their prices aren't that cheap. Uh, but I do know they offer like simpler things and mm -hmm. designs and comparatively, maybe the prices are cheap compared to some bigger brands. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, but I don't shop at Muji that much. But when I think of other big brands and their marketing, I, I'm reminded of like KFC. Now their slogan just sticks in my head. What is KFC's? Finger, licking, finger good. licking good. True. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. it's, it's just stuck in my head all the time, which in Korea, finger licking is not appropriate. <laughs> you rarely see it. It gets um, lost in translation. Right. Um, and also, just the culture, Americans eat with their hands way more. Mm -hmm. So true. it's very applicable for Americans. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about this slogan? Um, I, it's hard to say. So in, in English, we have this saying, you get what you pay for. Right, right. Um, and so when you say something is lower priced for a reason, then it really has that <laughs> image of being lower quality as well. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, the companies are trying to say that it's lower priced because we're, we're not spending a lot of marketing mm -hmm. and we're not spending a lot on packaging. And that's the reason that they're cheaper. Right. Um, but I think people in their mind, when they hear lower price for a, re a reason, their mind immediately goes to quality right. rather than all of the other fluff that companies spend money on. Right. Um, so if you really think about the slogans, they're not too bad, but the first impression is is a little bit... Yeah, a little questionable. A little and questionable. You don't quite trust it, but mm -hmm. uh, if you just experience it, you go, you realize, oh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's actually not so bad. Yeah. And that's all for Unit 10 Branding No Brand. We'll see you in the next video.